can stop that you need to get in the bath with God. Oh, shit, that's cold. That is cold, isn't it? Hello, bigs, biggies, biggles. How are you doing today? It's good to see you in God's bath. There's room for two or twenty in God's bath in heaven and he's been and gone tiddly poop 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 down and in and in and down and in and down hello to three people in God's bath right now yes there's room for three in God's bath with God and there's his bog roll and there's the gay bath Alright Cresso, how are you doing in God's bath? It's getting a bit chuffing hot now Assume the position. <sighs> this is what it looks like when a baby comes out of a man. There you go. That's the first thing a baby that comes out of a man sees. We're in bath now, sorted. Girl, I wanna take you to a gay bar. I wanna take you to a gay bar. I wanna take you to a gay bar, gay bar, gay bar. Down in it. Girl, let's start a war. Start a nuclear war. At the gay bar, gay bar, gay bar. What does that button do? I don't know if I dare touch it. In case it does something. Revealing. That's Chris all gone from the gay bar. Filters on. Do we really need? Shall we try a filter? There you go. It's got bubbles on it. Look. Gay. That's gay. Got a black and white one. Uh, what's that do? The brightness of the lights of the bath. Rubbish. Filters. Hey, King and Queen Fitness Productions, how are you doing? Cadilla Ranares, how are you doing? Welcome to God's bath. I'm having a bath. I'm having a bath. Because I've been out and I'm going... Hang on, turn that off. I'm going 
going to the God's Path Live. I'm going to the pub tonight, so you've got to get back and do your hair and put your makeup on, haven't you? So there you go. So welcome to God's Bath. There are um, um, shush little bath. There you go. There's three of us in the bath together now, and two of us are female. So that's win-win for me, isn't it? Winner. Um, there's the duck up there, Lucky. He ain't gone away. He's still here. Look. Shall I go get him? I'll go get him, because he's proper rude. He says some horrible things. He's a terrible duck. Just put him there so he can see what's going on. So he likes to have a look. Although he's got like, uh, he's done his eyelashes. He, he's, it's a fee, it's a male duck. And he, like, and he's, um, and he's proper rude. Look, I'll bring him up here, I'll have a little, have a little chat to the duck. All right, duck. You can't say that. No, it's not true. God's followers are not no bed. Stop acting like a dickhead. No, you can't. No. Genocide's wrong, mate. So, yeah, he's not a right good duck. He's a, a prick. So last time we were in Bath was, I think this time last week, wasn't it, that God went in Bath with you a lot? Probably. I thought, do you know what, I don't know. I don't know when it was, but anyway, here we are again in the Bath with God in heaven. And three of us in the Bath again now. Two thumbs up, because everybody likes to have a Bath with God. I'll show you this, this soap, that pink soap down there. Is oh I'll show, show you it. It's gonna make sense if we don't show you. Hang on, dropped it. Don't drop your soap. Is uh, that's upside down. It, this isn't gonna go on for much longer, is it? Nobody uses this soap, but that is the gay bar soap. Hang on, gay bar, gay bar, gay bar soap. Four of us in the bath, so that's five of us in the bath now. So five people in the bath. Hello Flying Monkey, how are you doing? Five of us in bath now, and I think there's I think there's still more ladies in the bath than there is men. So men are winning. Winner! 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 What's that? No, you can't join in. Weird. As if anybody wants to touch animals up. Weird, you're a weird duck. What? What? Liverpool is shit. Get stuffed. I'm queen. Yeah. So that makes it three ladies and, and two men in the bath. So that's winner. What's that? You're a male. You don't kick us on it, mate. You don't count. You're a duck. Oh, he's going to drown now. He's upside down. Who has ever thought of a duck that can't swim? Ridiculous. So, I'm going to have a bath, and then the plans for today are, it's 10 to 6 on Saturday, and I'll probably get out about 10 past, go and pick Jesus up, and then we are going to go to the pub. Not with Jesus, just me and Mary and have a few quiet drinks, she said quiet drinks this week because last time I went out she was poorly for a week because she's rubbish at drinking I am an expert face the wall duck I don't care I don't care Cadillaran! Let's friendship, you should friendship friendship King and Queen Fitness, they're good. And Cadillaran's really nice as well, and she does her uh, live streams, and she plays guitar as well. Benny Loco, good morning. It's 10 to 6 
on Friday night, Saturday night. Saturday night's all right for fighting. I get in your knock is out in the bath. Kez Cadillo, hello, I am new here. Well, it's lovely to see you. Uh, if you if you do want to pop a, a like and a, a support on me, if you support my channel, then I will support you back when I get a second. What's up, God? 9.55 a.m. here. So you've got a whole Saturday to go. A whole Saturday. But I'll be out getting drunk before you, because I'll be out soon. Hit the thumbs up. Thumbs up the bomb. Oh, it was cold outside today. Proper cold. There you go. There you go, says or Kez. It's it, a friend. We're friends already. Winner. So is this your first time to come into God's bath? It's packed full of women. I am going to get pissed, yeah. Next great video, yeah. So, uh, your first time in God's bath, and now it's just full of women now. There's no men left apart from God. So this is gonna be a right good bath, isn't it? A right good bath. Damn, it's a bit cold, so I'm gonna put a bit more. If you don't have these, spin your bath taps that you can do with your feet. You're missing out. Spinny bath taps, spinny bath taps, spinny bath taps. Want an urbex with me? You've talked about this urbex thing before. And I think I know what it is, because I think you explained it to me. I think urbexing is wandering around empty houses or something like that. Is that right? One urbexing. Is it just going in and going into derelict buildings or something or rooting around? Exploring abandoned structures. Yeah, that sounds better than the way I put it, isn't it? I watched this thing right overnight and I'd love to have gone to this place and explored this. I think it's been taken over now, right? Hang on, wait until I switch this off. Hooked your channel back. Hooked your channel back. They're getting lazy now. Um, so I watched this film, or this uh, Netflix thing, called Wild Wild Country, about this weird cult from India that this Indian dude started who was some sort of guru and they took over this town. An urbexing wish list. So right, in this town then, Benny, um, in this town they took over in Oregon, Antelope, Oregon and started this gigantic city full of gimpy guru followers. And then right at the end, they abandoned it. I would have loved to have gone and looked around that after they'd all gone home. I bet that were really interesting. And now it, it was it was taken over by, yeah, absolutely crazy. Who would have believed it if somebody had told you that story? And then they, they abandoned it. And then it got took over by a youth Christian group. And they're all, yeah, yeah, it's this youth Christian group, the lovely, and I just thought, well, that's just exactly the same as once before. They're worshipping some other nonsense bullshit, are they? So, although the Rajneesh, they were called, the Indian dude, and his cult weirdos, they armed themselves and then started poisoning people. Mm. They all went to jail. And then, uh, the main man, uh, cut a plea bargain and abandoned everybody and went back to India. And they're still following him back to India because they were that much, so gullible that they thought he was the master. Which is bullshit. They might as well have just followed me on here. The one who had to travel around the world. You can follow me from your living room. 
gimps. There's only one fucking God. Thanks, King and Queen. Is it Kez or is it Says? Kez or Says? How would you explain that? If it's Kez, then write K, and if it says, write S. And then I'll know. Do, 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 do. Look, God's hairy knee look. I ain't got really, I ain't really got hairy legs, but I've got hairy knees for some reason. Whoa, that's a big, big oh, cramp. Um, if you look at my videos, you'll see stranded in the desert with no supplies. When I finally got out, it was to a ghost town. No help in sight. That's Ace. Says. Okay. That's Ace. Did you shoot yourself? Thanks for saving me. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Come out on my bike. I've only ever thought, well, no, two times I thought I was going to die. No, I saved myself. Yeah, yeah you did. I'll go and have a look at it, though. Um, two times I thought I was going to die. Once, um, I won't go too much into it in detail, but they had to stick a tube into my throat. Uh, blow my windpipe so that I could breathe um, and I remember I remember sort of I remember passing out and I remember doctors looking over me and then I can't remember anything after that I passed out or they put me out I don't know uh, and I was asleep for four days and when I got up um, I had all tubes in my arms but I didn't know where I was and I, I tried to go to the toilet, dragging all these drips behind me, and I had no muscles. It's amazing how, how quickly you can lose muscle. And I had no muscles in my leg and no energy. Very weird. Almost died 12 times in 57 years. <coughs> yeah, more lives than a cat, yeah. 12 times, fucking hell. And the other time, I was... Um, I was climbing, free climbing, and we climbed up, um, climbed up a cliff. And the only way to to get out of the situation was to climb through a gap and use your knees and your back to shimmy up. And my legs were too fucking long to climb through the hole, and I was trapped. And I, oh, desperately, proper thought I was gonna die. And there were people like. People telling me what to do, but I was telling them that I couldn't and I was running out of energy. Mm, that was the last time I ever went proper climbing. Wasn't afraid of the height until I got there. First time, six year, six week old. Pneumonia. Ooh, pneumonia, that's, yeah, people don't understand how bad that is, do they? Yeah, pneumonia. I've seen a couple of my mates have had pneumonia. And one of them got pneumonia that he got when he had meningitis. And we proper thought he was a goner. Mm. And um, Mary's dad got pneumonia about three years ago. Go on, seventh. Tell us the seventh one. It's good afternoon, Irma a bear. Irma a bear came fifth in the quiz. God's jizz quiz on Friday. Do, 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 do. Come on, Benny, we're waiting for you. Death number seven story. It's going to be awesome, isn't it? Shot by a Dalek. Da, 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 da. 
we'll see what time it is. No, I'm in for a bit. I'm going to see the quiz. Be right back. Next, next, we're going to do the quiz every Friday from here. From now on. It was quite a success. God's rubbish quiz. Quite a success. Look, let's go through, go through to the tour of God's bathroom. We do do it every time. Does God's willy float or sink? Uh, bath's not full enough for it to sink. So I don't know. I'm not in bath completely. It's on top of water right now. Right, so there's the Ted Baker soap for posh people who want to spend money on expensive soap, which is fucking nuts. Um, up there is there's the gay bar, which is the gay bar of soap. Hang on, hang on, I can't zoom in now. There is uh, up there is towels for cleaning surfaces or something. Oh hang on, there's the bottle of fuck. Because it's pink. No, no, it says, I'm not, I'm not showing you this. Look, we went to see Electric Six and met Dick Valentine and we got a, a bar of gay bar soap. Trying not to use it. It smells funny and all, so I don't really try and use it that much. It's a reflection of God's knob in the mirror then. I must, I must apologise. I don't know, it smells, it smells, it smells a bit lady, a bit lady-like. Um, there's a bottle of fog, the two pink things, I don't know what they are, it says delicious moments on it. There's the Nazi duck. Look, he's like, and he's eyeing up that, whatever that is, and he's thinking, Hello, Queen. Hello, Queen. How are you doing? And he's thinking, he's looking at that, and he's thinking, It's an hour. Yeah, it is. It was quite an hour, a long job, because I had to keep going through it, because more people came in. Hello, Queen Paula Banks. And, uh, so Duck's eyeing up whatever that green liquid is, and he's thinking, I won't mind drinking that. Um, and then behind me, is all this other shit that that we need all do so it's not the same shit does the same stuff but all those same stuff and you smell different i don't know chuck it in the bin god and all those chemicals are very bad for you They're not bad for you we had this argument all the day smelling nice is good King and Queen Fitness Productions are supporting Miss Banks. Um, yeah, I like it. I'll tell you what I used to do, right? And I did this over there, right? Because I haven't done it for a long time. So listen to this, Benny. This is a good, a good story, right? I don't buy... I don't buy deodorants and aftershaves. I don't. Other people buy them for me. So I have, sort of have shit loads of this stuff and and I sometimes put it on and sometimes I don't and uh, you think they smell best without chemicals I don't know don't sm smell my mate Keith he smells a piss um, and then right and so I get I get them given so other night as an experiment Mary said will you put so and so aftershave on so I went yeah yeah well do she said I like the smell of that one Right, so what I did was, I got some of her perfume and I put her perfume on instead. Because it's attractive to women, because women buy that because they like the smell of it. So I put her perfume on and then as we were going out, she goes, do you know what, you smell absolutely lovely tonight. I didn't say no. And then she won't shut up about it all night. She's like, got that aftershave, it smells so nice. It's really nice. And I'm like, oh, well, it, it's fucking, it's your alien or whatever it's called. And she went, oh, no wonder I like it. What did you put that on for? I said, because I like... Because I fancy a shag at the end of the night and you're attracted to it. So, winner. So, men shouldn't be going out and buying men's perf men's aftershave if they're going out on last trying to pull birds. Get the, the one that most women like and put that on. 
That's what the objective is, to smell nice for the opposite sex. You don't want blokes coming up and going, hmm, you smell a fucking brute. I love it, I love brute. So there you go, there's a story, educated by God there, on his hairy knees. Hello, test look. Hello, hello. Welcome to God's bath. I think at the, the height of this, we had seven people in the bath at one time, didn't we? Do you know that whale semen is used in cosmetics? Ooh, I won't want that job wanking that whale off. <laughs> Come on, I love you, whale. <laughs> Your big fucking giant hands. I love you, whale. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> no, stick your finger up my bum. No, whale, no. I want, I want transferring to fucking to other department. They kill whales to get it. Yeah. Still, someone's got to go in with bucket into big giant knackers, aren't they? <laughs> like, no, no, please transfer me to the department that, that squirts fucking poison into cat's eyes. Please, I just want to be there, the, the one that sprays the, uh, the deodorant into the eyes of unborn chickens, please. Everything is tested on animals at some point, it has been, all medicines are all tested on animals. That's why cheetahs can run really fast, because they're fucking pumped with steroids. And monkeys can climb trees, because they're fit as fuck. Let's kill Earth's creatures so we can look pretty and smell nice. Great idea. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think for like perfumes you should because there's a million things in there that are already tested. So just use them. You don't need to test anymore. But I think for medicines, I think it's different, isn't it? Did we talk about this other night when I told you about my mate who was um, the first, the two brothers were the first people to uh, to test the hard on tablet, what's it called? Uh, what's the hard on tablet called? Anyway, one of them got the hard on tablet, and one of them got the placebo. And uh, the guy who got the hard on tablet, it wasn't working properly. He had a hard on for a week and a half, and he went into depression and he needed counselling afterwards. I've been made up with a week and a half hard on, like taking two weeks off, sir. Yeah, you don't need to test it for cosmetics, do you? There's shitloads of stuff that have been tested. Just use them. But a cure for cancer. I know, like most of it's tested on humans now, isn't it? As well, so do you really need it? Big Pharma is killing us. Don't kid yourself. It's a money. Yeah, it is a money gig. You're right. Not a healthcare gig. Yeah, I agree. Healthcare no longer exists. Well, I don't know about that. Real healthcare does. Hmm. I've got like my um, people close to us have gone through some big things. It doesn't cure it every time. It depends what type of cancer it is, doesn't it? We've gone through um, myeloma. Somebody's going through skin cancer close to us now. And, oh, it's not great to watch that stuff. Not great to watch at all. And you are very grateful for every single thing that can be done. Every single thing that can be done. What time is it? I don't, I don't know, I'm not educated enough to know that. Um, I know there's a lot of people who, who benefit from 
from things that are illegal and and a lot of that stuff should be legal because it doesn't affect anybody whatsoever they're not a, they're not a burden on society most of them people there's more of a burden on society people like me who like to go out drinking who are not right good at it we're a bigger burden on society people who drink alcohol and certainly on a Saturday night the most expensive drain on the country it's also antiquated I don't know what that means explain that to you explain shit to God because God doesn't fucking know everything what what's that duck what because God's a cunt you can't say that fucking not bad Put you back in water now and you'll drown. So we can get you. There, drown you little bastard. How did you say that when you're underwater? Magic. What? I said it out of my bum. That's fucking retarded. Die! Die, stupid plastic animal! Put you back up there now. Next to gay bar. I've just seen the vent in God's bathroom that sucks the air out of the bathroom so it doesn't get condensation. And I'm going to show you it. It's grim. If you uh, if you drip, all right. Do you ever have, I um, don't know if this is an American brand or not, there used to be a brand called Alessi and they made acrylic tracksuits and, and it became a fashion. So if you're playing football and you had an Alessi tracksuit, you're all the man for a little bit, long time ago. Anyway, I was fixing my football boots and I dripped a little bit of super glue onto my Alessi tracksuit and it burnt a fucking hole in my leg. It just caught fire, the tracksuit set on fire almost and burnt a big hole in my leg. I had a scar on my leg with a big hole in it for four years. Don't know if I've still got a scar there now. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's killing more people than it's helping. Chemotherapy causes cancer. I don't know, I can't. I just can't comment because I just don't know. But I reckon if a doctor says you need chemotherapy, I'm going to listen to him. Let me show you my air vent because it's disgusting and I've just seen it, it needs cleaning out. Look at that. Look at all the shit that's gone in there. So does radiation. Well, I don't know. I don't, just don't know. I've had a lot of scans for like my broken bones and stuff when I were an athlete um, and had a knee operation. I was talking about one other day when I had a brain scan. Um, they didn't find that, so that didn't kill me. I had to drink some liquid, and and the liquid showed up on the scan or something. Long time ago, I can't really remember it. Didn't feel any different. Apparently, it makes you blood radioactive or something, so they can see it. And, and and to be honest, I might be making that up. That might be bullshit. I will never see a doctor again. Oh God. I can practice medicine just as well as them. Fuck knows, I don't know. Oh! I don't know. I don't, I just don't fucking know. And that's what you get with God, right? If I don't know, I won't make it up because I just don't fucking know. And I don't mind being wrong. God doesn't mind being wrong. This proper God. The one that you can come and have a chat to in the bath. All other gods will tell you they're fucking right. I won't, because I'm not a bullshitter. Practice, yeah. Practice makes perfect though, Benny. These blinds here, Sometimes I have to come and untangle my cat out of them because they jump up onto a couple of roofs and then onto a windowsill 
and then jump through the window when windows open and get stuck in, in there like fucking flies. Time is it now? 17 minutes past six. It's it's getting time to get dressed and go and get drunk. And you know what drunk sounds like? No such thing as perfect God. You should know that. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a perfect guitar. Mary gets upset because I love my guitars more than I love Mary. Oh, poor Mary. She'll have to fucking stomach it. Um, I need to get a proper wash door. Because I've just sat here wrinkling up. Yeah, I might go live from the pub tonight. So that will be in about two hours. In about three hours or four hours, if I went live from the pub then. That would be ridiculous because you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. Isn't it weird that when you get really drunk, then we mates, and you're all really, really drunk, you can understand what they're saying, but nobody else can understand you. You become fluent in drunk, which rhymes with spunk. Da, da, da. I've been trying to get some some band footage as well from like live from the stage but I keep standing my phone in front of a drum kit and it just sounds retarded it sounds it's like just sounds like an helicopter's landing so I'm wondering how I can do it with the phone from where yeah smoke on the water dun, dun, dun. I think I blew it out of me bum in the bath to do yeah so I want the phone on the stage but I want the sound to come from back of room so I don't know how to do it so I'm, I'll have to investigate it and see if I can find some sound techie guy that can make that work unless a video one front stage and one front back of room and put them together. I don't know. I don't know. There's this, we've got a, we've got a cool sound guy and he knows what it is. Best concert ever. All right, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what my best ever concert was. Uh, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't if I were going to pick beforehand. I wouldn't have said this was going to be it. But the Scorpions in about 1995 at Birmingham NEC, <clears throat> I think it was 95-ish, probably the best thing I've ever seen in my life. They were so good. So absolutely good. The Germans came to England and took over. <coughs> That was the last time that happened. Right, guys, I'm going to get a proper bath. And, uh, yeah, man, they were, they were so good. If you've never seen them and you ever get the chance, get yourself in there. They'll be about four million years old, older than dinosaurs. But go and see them, man, they're just so sweet. What a, what a noise. Mmm. Yeah, right, I'm going. I've got to get a bath and... Uh, get washed instead of just laying here and and then I might see you live from the bar in heaven. <laughs>